Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ree's Kitchen. Today we're making panna cotta with roasted peaches. Just divine, the taste of summer. Not many ingredients and the benefit of this is you can prep it early, the day before if you're having people over for dinner. It's absolutely divine. Let's get straight into it, shall we? So first up we have some milk and cream, some caster sugar, vanilla pod and gelatin leaves, the star, the peach, some honey, brandy and lemon for zest, vanilla, brown sugar, butter, and then to serve, some mint leaves and slivered almonds. Our first step is to make the custard. You don't need a thermometer to make the custard, but it will make your life a whole lot easier. So a candy thermometer, or I'm using my laser thermometer. So first up, we're just gonna pop the milk and cream into our pot. with the caster sugar. And then on just a medium heat, I'm going to stir that until the sugar's dissolved and that the mixture comes to just hand hot, or if you're using your thermometer, 40 degrees. So that's at 25 degrees Celsius. And you may notice that I'm just doing a figure eight in my stirring. That way I get an even distribution of the sugar and you don't end up with a caramelized spot in the middle that you've missed. There we go, so we've hit 40. So I'm just gonna turn the heat off. So I'm just gonna split the vanilla pod to pop in our milk mixture. Now the next step we need to do is prep our gelatin sheets. Now I prefer gelatin sheets to gelatin powder. I find it much more convenient. And these are standard, not the titanium that you would do for a jelly as such. Um, they're quite convenient. So I'm just gonna pop these in a bowl here that I've just got some cold water. And I just, don't put them all in one heat. You do want them to stay separate and then just sink to make sure that they are all uh, submerged. So the gelatin sheets are gonna take about five minutes to soften. Meanwhile, here now, let's pull out our vanilla pod and get all of the seeds out into our custard. Might be easier on the board. So now we pop the gas up on high and we're gonna keep stirring until this reaches 90 degrees. Well, that's when you just start to get those fine bubbles. But I wanna keep stirring. Right. So we're at 90, so I'll turn that heat off. So now with each of our gelatin sheets, see they're nice and soft. I just give it a squeeze because I don't really want to add that water in and add it in and give a stir and it'll dissolve pretty quickly. So I just want to stir that to make sure that the gelatin's all dissolved. The traditional way to serve panna cotta is to use a Dariel mold like this one. This is a 150 ml mold. Then when you're ready to serve after they've set, you would run hot water over the mold for a couple of seconds and then tip it onto your plate. But today I'm going to do something a little bit different, it makes it look a little bit fancier. So I've got some 180 ml uh, glasses and I have got them, as you can see here, they're actually in my baguette pan so that I can tip them at a consistent angle. And so I'm going to half fill at an angle each glass and let it uh, set. And then I'm gonna pop the fruit in the other half of the glass just to make it look a bit fancy. But of course you don't have to do that. You can set them straight you can pop them in moulds. This way you don't have to unmould them. So now I've popped the custard into a jug just to make it easy. And try not to make too many bubbles. We're just going to gently pour it into the cups. You don't want to have them flat and tip because then you'll get a mark on the jar. So just very gently pouring it in. So now these need to go into the fridge and they'll take between two and four hours to set 
or you can leave them overnight. They look pretty good, don't they? So now we're up to the peaches. Because I'm gonna be serving the peaches in the half glass with the panna cotta, I don't want them too hot. So I need to make these at least an hour before I'm gonna serve them so they've got a chance to come to room temperature. So each peach, I'm just going to take out um, the stone and I'm gonna cut each half into four because I'll fit into my glass better and pop them into my baking dish. So next, I'm just gonna put all of our liquids into the jug and mix them up. That's water, vanilla, and now a dash of brandy. and just pour that over our peaches. So I'm just gonna zest our lemon. You don't need much, but just a little. So now we just sprinkle over the brown sugar. Now for a teaspoon of honey that I'm just going to drizzle over as well. So the last ingredient we need to add now is the butter. And I'm just gonna slice them into just some thin little slivers and place on top of each piece of fruit. So this now goes into the oven at 220 degrees centigrade for 20 minutes. We're gonna baste it at the 10 minute mark and they're gonna go soft and caramelly and just delicious. Now just to add a crunchy texture to this dish, I'm just gonna to toast up some almonds. So I have my empty dry pan. We'll just warm that up. Done. So we're at the 10 minute mark. Let's get these out. Such a pity you can't smell this. It is just sweet, vanilla -y, just delicious. So I'm just going to pour some of the liquid back over each of these peaches. And now back in the oven for another 10 minutes. All right, these are ready. Just look at that. Absolutely delicious. Now, as always, the hard part's in the waiting. We can't pop these on our lovely cold custards, so we just gotta let them cool down to room temp. Now for all the details of today's recipe, don't forget to check out my blog at the link below, but as always, the best bits in the eating. Mm. The panna cotta is rich and creamy and vanilla-y. The peach is just intensified from the roasting. It's gooey, crunchy nuts, and then of course that pop from the mint. This is a sensational dessert. I hope you all enjoy it too, as much as I have. Until next time, everybody, ciao.